Many, many, many people are dying. Um, black women too, yes, but many women are dying for childbirth because the process has, has been taken out of the hands of the woman. You know, I have eight children if my empress. You know, we home birth every single one of them. You know, and in medical school, when I saw how they deal with the woman, I said, I'll never let anyone take care of my empress when she's on a hospital bed, right? I will take care of that myself. So because the whole process of childbirth has been taken out of the control of the woman and has been placed into the medical establishment and have been turned into a, into a business, you find out that the core aspect of it, which is the, the care for the woman, that's very lacking, right? So we have helped sisters to deliver children, their first births, it's not one single tear. So you can imagine that. They say, well, well, the first birth is more difficult, so you'll get tears, and no, you don't have to get a tear. You understand? It's when, when, you, when, when the woman is educated enough to understand that, because remember, you know, childbirth is a natural thing, you know. So before childbirth, your womb, literally, would be contracting to push out the baby, all right? You would be pushing to push out the baby. The baby itself would be pushing itself out of the womb. Gravity would be pulling down the baby, all right? So naturally, but they would put the woman to lie down and put her head up and put the, put, put, put the gravity in the opposite direction, number one. So during childbirth, ancestrally, you stoop. You know, to, to, to give birth. Mm -hmm. So at home, you don't, you don't, put, you don't lie down to, 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 to give birth. You stoop to give birth. You understand? So even if a woman is on a toilet, and she, because most times before a woman actually um, um, gives birth, she does feel like she wants to defecate. So even on a toilet, she wants to sit down and she starts to push to, to defecate. The baby will literally be coming out. So you have birthing stools. Right, so even these, these, that all these things are things that actually have taken the power out of the hand of the woman. But when you give the woman back that sense of self-confidence, that knowledge of self, and there's nothing to be afraid about. The horse does do it, the sheep does do it, the cow does do it, the goat does do it, the dogs does do it, the pigs does do it, and then they just do their thing and then they move on. Right, so it is for us now to put that power back into the hands of the woman and create a healthcare system that is sensitive to the care of the woman. Right? Because when I witnessed that they cut the woman like this, she could have had a fit cellar. Because remember, the anus is just underneath the vaginal opening. Right? So when you just cut, you could cut and just cut the anus right away. That's why plenty of women after childbirth, I mean, everything is different for them. You understand? So that whole general care for the woman and creating a system that's sensitive to the care of the woman would help to lower the levels of, of, of these issues. And also, one of the key things that that we practice as a family is stretches. Lots of stretches and your diet, the things you actually eat during childbirth, during, uh, before childbirth, during your pregnancy. So you don't wait until you're ready to push to start to practice. So you have nine months, 42 strongs, 44 strongs to prepare yourself for that whole end process. Well, let me hear you say,